Hey guys, I've got something interesting to show you today. I've shown you many iPhone mods on this channel, including the jet black conversion for older devices, glowing Apple logos, even a touch activated one. So it is fun to modify your phone if you have the guts to do it. So in this latest one, let's turn our iPhone into a 1990 style Game Boy with a translucent color. So Jerry Rig Everything was actually posting some videos on the Galaxy side, the Android side of doing this to your phone, and it looks really cool. Major props to him on that. So I thought, what would it look like on an iPhone? So here is a transparent housing that we can install on an iPhone. And real quick, I'm just gonna time lapse it and show you what the end result is with a Game Boy style housing on our device. So you can order these online and basically you just gotta do a straightforward swap from one to the other. Now this is my jet black one that I've already done to an iPhone 6S. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the internals of one iPhone all into here and show you guys the end result. It should be really, really cool. And of course, for anyone attempting this, I recommend you guys get a mat to store all of your screws on in the correct positions. And of course, a toolkit. I got mine for my fix set, but really any tools would work for this. So here's my donor phone. It's gonna be an iPhone 6 for this shell in particular. And it is dead, but if it's not, turn it off. Now I'm not gonna be doing a full tutorial. I really just wanna show you guys the end result. So. Enjoy the time lapse. No, this isn't easy to do, but it's certainly doable. With uh, older models like 6, uh, you don't have a seal, but if you're doing a 6S or above, they do have a waterproofing seal around it. So you'll need a replacement for one of those. Of course, you'll need battery stickers to replace the battery into the new one as well. All right, so I've gotten to the part where mostly stripped. So now we gotta start swapping over uh, the ribbon cables and the bottom portion here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the packaging. And only thing is I'm kind of concerned about the volume buttons as they don't have anywhere to put the clips from the old ones in order to retain the clickiness. So we'll see how that goes, but it actually comes with a clear uh, SIM card tray too, which is very interesting. So we'll have to see about these, but I'm gonna go ahead and start swapping everything over here. So as I'm replacing these components, I have noticed you have to be very, very gentle with how much torque you're applying to the little bolts as it is a plastic housing and you can easily strip the little metal uh, piece inside that's used to secure the bolt. So be very gentle if you are doing this, transferring over everything. You don't need to over tighten anything. All right, just got these buttons installed and surprisingly much better than I thought. Very clicky and the rocker switch, which I replaced with a plastic one also works quite well. So not as bad as I thought, fit is pretty good. All right, and the last finishing touches. So I've got everything in here. I decided not to put any battery stickers on, which you probably shouldn't but I just wanted to keep that fresh battery look. I was debating whether or not I should take off the shielding behind the actual logic board, but I decided against it because already this thing is going to be accepting more electromagnetic interference because the metal shell is gone. So, you know, it might affect your signal, maybe even in a good way, but I actually want to test that at the end of this video. Anyways, screen goes on next. So let's go ahead and finish this up. I'm actually very excited to see this thing in action. So as I'm locking this thing up, I noticed I have a screw left over, which is always a pretty crappy feeling after you've put together a car or any project you've been working on. And there's a screw there. You're like, what the heck? Where's it from? But it turns out it's not my fault. So on the real life on housing, there's a little screw right there. On this one, it's completely missing. So the camera is kind of free floating right there. I'm not sure if that'll affect the quality. It's not completely bolted down. So that's the only thing that I'm not liking about this conversion so far. Otherwise, I'm ready to pop everything in here and let's see how the display fits the new case. And oh my goodness, that looks awesome. Man, that's so cool. So I remember these back in the day, they had them on like the iPhone 4 and stuff and they looked super cool, but this is on a more modern device. Man, that actually looks really, really neat. So I think the display does jut out just a little bit. Um, Actually, no, that was just me. It just looked like that on the corner here. Overall though, the fit seems pretty good. Headphone jack is flush here. All the ports are nice. And as long as you transfer over all the grills, you're not getting a completely naked look. And there's a side, you can see all of the mounting points over here. Super neat, I like that. It really shows you the internals of the iPhone well. So that's why I didn't put the stickers for the battery. I just wanted a little bit more of a raw look and nothing is loose inside. 
It's very solid housing. I'm gonna charge it and be right back. All right, so I got it to power on and just to show you guys this is possible without breaking your device. It took me all in all, I'd say about an hour, but I am a little bit more experienced now as I've already done several mods, housing swaps, and uh, you know, it's a little better for me. I think it would take about two to three hours for uh, most average people doing this. So I'm gonna remove that and wow, that's nice. Only thing that's interesting is they removed the Apple logo and the iPhone text and everything, but I guess it makes it look much, much more clean. So plugging my thing in, you can kind of see it over there, the whole charging port area, the battery, how it works. I'm not sure how this will affect the heat, but I'm definitely feeling the battery uh, temperature more through this. Oh, I forgot my uh, SIM card here. So very flimsy, careful not to break this, but you got SIM card tray in here too. Pop that in there and cool. Interesting that they kept plastic for all the buttons and everything. No, I don't wanna remove anything. So there is that guys. Yeah, let me know what you think. Is this a mod that you would even consider doing or that you would want to see on a newer device? So currently this is only for the iPhone 6. Uh, I think some 6S ones might exist, but the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are too new for this. I know the iPhone 5S and 5 have their own housings like this as well, even the 4S. So. This goes way back. All right, guys, so that is how you Game Boyify your iPhone with a transparent, clear case that you can find. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys really wanna do this. Still pretty nice. And so the only thing left to find out for me is how electromagnetic interference would affect this plastic casing. Is it more susceptible to it? And of course, this is a more extreme situation, but you know, it would give us an idea. We're gonna try it on the back of a regular shelled iPhone and see how it works. No effect on the back whatsoever, on the front. So as you guys can see, it is affected on the front, but not on the back. So let's try this one though, with no protection on the back whatsoever, except the one on the logic board. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, yeah, it definitely does affect it more. And I just killed it, so the thing just reset, I believe. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, it's still on. Cool, so it is affected a lot more than the other one with the shell. Let's see the front. Oh yeah, right away, wow. So that goes to show you that this might affect the performance of your cell phone signal in extreme situations, but it definitely does not offer as much protection on that front. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just thought it'd be a really cool look at what this thing looks like without its natural protection in place. Be sure to check out the other iPhone mods I have on this channel. Really cool stuff being able to do this to your very own iPhone. All right guys, peace.